So to the right here for me is uh, one of the tailing ponds that I was telling you about. Um, a lot of what uh, tailing ponds is uh, air, poly aromatic hydrocarbon, anthetic acid, arsenic, ammonia, mercury, lead, a lot of heavy metals. That's the byproduct um, that results from the processing of the bitumen. One of the Greenpeace traditions is to bear witness and given that the tar sands exploitation represents one of the worst devastations of environmental destruction in the world. It was critically important that uh, I had a chance to bear witness. I have to say the impact has been much more powerful uh, than I actually even anticipated. I'd read about it and I've seen pictures, but getting sort of close to it and seeing the extent of the devastation that has been caused seeing different parts of the process and uh, the level of pollution, toxic infestation, uh, sulfur, um, and, and you know, to think that this was all uh, forests. I think for me, the other thing that stands out is just how deep the injustice has been to First Nations people in terms of uh, the fact that lots of people clearly have been displaced already. And if this continues, it will further threaten uh, the livelihoods, the culture, the history, uh, and the environmental wisdoms that First Nations bring, not just to Canada, but to, uh, to the world. It is critically important that Greenpeace campaigns on tar sands because this is one of the worst environmental disasters happening under our very eyes at the moment. Uh, secondly, this is one of the biggest industrial developments uh, in the world. And thirdly, Canada doesn't have the slightest chance of meeting its international obligations in terms of carbon emissions and reduction if this uh, tar sands exploitation is allowed to continue uh, any much further than it's already been given a free license by uh, the Canadian government. For me and for everybody who comes here, I'm sure uh, we can only leave with a greater sense of commitment that we have to muster much greater uh, resistance to actually prevent this environmental catastrophe from continuing.